Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dennis Cortez, and in today's video, I'll be going over how to choose type styles and sizes for your design system in Figma. Before we get into that, just a quick plug. I've launched my Patreon this month. If you're interested in getting a lot of my content early, getting to pick on new videos, getting to see unreleased music that I have, and much more, feel free to go ahead and check out patreon.com slash shyboytm or you can go ahead and look at the description and there'll be a link there. So anyways, let's get into this. So the way that I like to choose typography is it's based on a lot of web type scales um, and this translates really well as well to mobile apps, which is nice. So here I've come up with an example and I'm gonna be going through them to show you what I mean by this. When you're picking out type styles, uh, the font kind of up to you, it's up to your brand and whatnot. For example sake though, I have chosen Inter, which is a free font that is made by an independent designer and it's open source, so you can go ahead and use it for anything. So I just wanted to show that here for this example. But the way that I choose my type styles is I like to use even numbers and I start off with 12 and I go all the way up to 32. A lot of the times, depending on your style, you may need bigger than this and you can go ahead and use the same system that I'll be going over just to scale this up even more if you need. But like I said, I start with 12 and I choose my line height based on fours up from that. So what I mean by that is you see here, I set this font size to 12, but then my line height is 16. So what this does is when you're typing out bodies of paragraphs and you need good spacing between them so that it's legible, this helps having that if you're doing your line height a little bit higher than your font size. So first I do 12 to 16, then I do 14 to 18, 16 to 20, 20 to 24, 24 to 32. I bumped this up a little bit because it's such a large style. So it helps with the legibility as well. And then for this last one, I do 32 and 40. So this one goes up to eight. So doing this, this still stays on my eight point grid that we like to use in our design systems, um, which I recommend as well. And I will be covering in another video, but this is really helpful for setting out type styles and you can use these throughout for things like inputs, um, buttons, anything that you need, it's really helpful to use these type styles and stick with them. So on top of that, here I have my body styles, which are just a regular font weight. And then I like to also have a title font weight as well, which is usually semi-bold, bold, or heavy, depending on what you're trying to go for. So for this example, to keep it simple, I have used bold. So this is just so that we can do this for different hierarchies which I'll show you in a sec some examples. This helps us so that we can do labels and titles instead of just having body. So as an example, I'll go over here to this testing tab that is from a design system that I've been working on in my spare time. And you can see all these type styles are being used in context here. So if I click this, you'll see that I have my title three. So it has the 16 and 20 that I was talking about earlier. Each one of these uses the type styles that I showed in the last example. And you can see them in context really nicely here, like even with the inputs and the placeholders and with your buttons, it's really great for your hierarchy and being able to use these within each other. So what this is gonna do is, is it's gonna keep a lot of consistency with your design styles and your system. So this is really helpful when working on a lot of different screens and keeping things consistent. You can still use different sizes and different composition and whatnot, but it still feels very in line with the same system. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to make a quick video on how to choose type styles for your design system. I know it can be tough when you're starting out. When I was doing this, I had no idea what type styles I was supposed to be using, so I thought this would be helpful. Let me know what you think and let me know if you have any other requests for other design system videos or anything around Figma or Ableton and hope you enjoy. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you all later.